Water and Waves live stream. Let's go. 1.0. I can't wait. It's going to be great. Maybe, probably. I don't know. I heard cringe things about it. Again, I'm late as always, but there you go. Um, so yeah, let's go. Hello. Subscribe. Hello. Do all the nice things. Cool. Let's watch this. I'm, why is this one and a half hours long? I've seen people's reactions only be like an hour long. Okay. And if this isn't going to be game of the year, I don't know what's going to be then. At least for like gacha year games, I guess. This is going to be great. Let's see. And then we can start cooking up some more content. After this. Because to be honest, I just need to learn more. So yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to the Wuthering Rays Reveal Livestream, Waking of a World. I'm Matthew, I'm your host today, and I have some lovely guests joining us for tonight's broadcast. I'm gonna oh, so echoey. one by one. Let's start off with you, Rex, one of our content creators here today. Hey guys, that Rex Blair, like here. we meet again in another Wuthering Waves live stream. I'm here with some wonderful guests. Back to you, Evian. My name's Havian and I'm a video content creator specializing in RPGs. I'm excited to be here today. I've never heard of this game. forward to connecting with you all. Thank you so much for joining us today. There's an RPG guy. Content creators that will be joining us for the broadcast today, but we still have other guests. Let's start with you, Rebecca, because I don't think we need to introduce you too much. As soon as you start speaking, everyone's going to know who you are. Am I? I hope I can be the one to embrace all that you are and share with you all that you carry. I'm Rebecca Yo, voice actor. Okay, but what if I didn't Yang watch your story though? And I, I don't know. Wait to meet you in Wuthering Waves. Because I don't know, because I didn't watch your story. Everyone's going to know exactly who you are as soon as you start speaking. <laughs> but you're not the only Yang Yang here today. We also have Zekia joining us. Hi, I'm Zekia, also known as Aru Rin, and I'm happy to join you guys as Yang Yang's cosplayer and to share details about Wuthering Waves. Thank you, thank you so, so much, everyone, for joining us on today's Hello. broadcast. And thank everyone. you, everyone back at home that is joining us for the broadcast tonight. I'll well, be there one day. Introduce you to Limo. Wuthering Waves. Probably not. For what we're going to be covering on tonight's broadcast. Wuthering Waves is an open world action RPG set for global release on the 22nd of May PT. The game will be available on the Epic Games for EU. That's going to be two o'clock GMT Android plus zero well or plus one. I don't remember. Just a high degree of freedom in which is great. Another two AM start. Oh, oh, yeah. of the overworld exploration. <sighs> I'm gonna die. Taking on the role of Rogan, My work life balance. Up in a world filled with haze and looming threats. And you'll tread along a Holy path Abobo. towards your lost memories alongside companions that have special abilities, the resonators. Resonators can exert their fortes through visible portals on their bodies, tacit marks to wield different abilities. They are going to be your loyal okay. companions aiding you during your thrilling adventures. Holy Abobo. That's God awesome. Damn. I also need to look at the drip marketing for 1.1. Yeah, I'm aching for a challenging battle with the resonators. I'll definitely use Yang Yang as the main oh, character. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> not, not surprised by that choice at all. Well, seeing as how from the fourth as are you as well, to be honest. I have a surprise that I'm so excited to share with At least until the link comes up. Everyone back at home as well. It's a promotional video for Wuthering Ways. Let's take a look. One more video. As the pressure builds, I push back. I'm Corey. A. I don't really care about her. And especially her, whatever her name was, like somebody F, I don't remember. Find the beat my heart creates. Free vibrations, words that get disturbing in the twilight. Piercing through the silence, echoing throughout the night. They shake the atmosphere, the heavens. I try to remember the names. I'm actually going brain dead. I don't know Yun Lin because she comes up on my Twitter some so Twitter sometimes <clears throat> for some reason. I know Will, but yeah. Who is that? Hello? I know her. She was San Ho, right? The Ice Girl. Yo. I guess those are the main villains. Again, I don't know anything about the story because I would like to actually enjoy it. Crazy, I know. Imagine spoiling. Ah, oh, Dungeon. Oh, she's, she's so cool, man. Kachara. 
Kalkara. How the fuck do you say his name? Everyone's like saying it different. And oh, there's E2 Dell. Cool. Bro, how was I get the first banner, man? <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. So, like the ultimate boss fight. Like the world's boss. Like a Coca Cola type beat. Holy oh moly. man, that is awesome. If there's one thing I know is that they never miss with the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Jian was really breathtaking in the video, but there are some new faces that piqued my curiosity. The bit where Jinshi was playing chess with another character, mm -hmm. I think in the previous betas, her existence was a total secret. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm privy to a few details about her, but I can't reveal more details. So let's just savor the anticipation, be excited for all the surprises in the upcoming stories. Oh yeah, I was on the edge of my seat for that one, and watching the boss battles, that just sends shivers down my spine the whole way through. Yeah, I mean... Uh, oh, he's got British. Really cool yeah, fellow so British man. To share that with everyone. I mean, Hello, after three Havian, what was his name? years of development, the official release is coming so soon. You know, looking back, it's really been quite a journey, not just in forms of con creating content, voice acting, cosplaying, but even for all the developers that have been working on this. Who is this guy again? But I don't remember. I don't know. To a brand new chapter for Withering Waves. And also, why is it still echoing? You know no matter like, where it takes us, uh, Yang Yang will always be there for us. Maybe more than two? Oh. I mean, we have a very, very special video from uh, Rex to share. Let's oh. take a quick look. <laughs> Oh, this is the thing that I saw on Twitter. Oh no. You're awake. <laughs> Fucking good, I'm dying. Let me see. Let me see. <sighs> Are you alright? Do you feel any discomfort? <laughs> uh, Rexland is like Loki the Your goat. Your attire doesn't seem local. Of Kuro Are games. you a roving traveler from afar or someone returning home? So, you don't know why you're here, where you're from, or who you are. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Yeah, let's get going! <laughs> Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. This is the center of the Atheric Sea. What? Oh my god, Rex. <laughs> Oh, this guy, oh my goodness, Rex, that was truly impressive. <laughs> I think you embodied her gentle spirit. Really? So well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I should take lessons from you. No, that was only my second time cosplaying. <laughs> second, second time. <laughs> I've never cosplayed before. When was the other time you cosplayed? Yeah. It was last year at Gamescom for the same character, if you, some of you remember, in Gamescom. I also cosplayed as Yang Yang, but that was more of a joke. And now they think like, oh, the reception is pretty good. Do it again. <laughs> like, okay, fine. <laughs> Your joke must have been taken very seriously. Are you going to cosplay more characters really? in the future? I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I think you should. Because every time I've seen you cosplay Yang Yang, you seem to be really into it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how can you tell? Yeah, you definitely should. You, I think you have some untapped cosplay potential. Okay, okay now I have uh, your approval. Maybe I should consider it. <laughs> you, you might be going for Zekia's job after this, and you know, practice makes perfect after all. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me that this was going to be in the original game footage. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more surprises coming up later on during the broadcast, and mm. we can move in to one of the surprises that we have today. Mm. Hey. I'm Karina Reeves, the voice of Encore in Wuthering Heights. Where's my Waves. code? Hello. I'm so happy to be here talking all about Encore and the official release of Wuthering Waves. Wait, British? You can spot Encore in a crowd from her eye-catching pinkish hair and energetic voice. Bro, who's this voice? I've heard this voice before. Up in the story and bring a whole lot of fun to the game. Encore's past stories are still a mystery, but hold on tight as more will be revealed. 
It's all from Rebirth 1999, but like, a fantastic game. Because that's the only like I check that have like British. To create brilliant the characters, years. unique storylines, and thrilling combat. I'm so excited combat. for you guys to dive in. One sheep, two sheep, three. Ah, uh, where was I? Oh, but she hey, doesn't have a British accent in the like character. The voice actor for Alto. It's so awesome Maybe Regulus? That'd be crazy. That's a good ass so voice actor. Able to join everyone here and talk about this incredible game. Wuthering Waves can't come soon enough, and I'm loving seeing all the hype for it. And I really hope that the game reaches more people on its official release, as I can't wait for more people to fall in love with Alto. I mean, who wouldn't? Just look at his sunglasses. Just go watch his character trailer. But like I said earlier, there's more to Alto than his goofy nature and his cute mist creations. And Alto well, is cool, but like... isn't my loyal patron. What do you wish to inquire about today? Hello you everyone, know? I'm Alex Jordan, the voice of Chian. Good British. I am over the moon to talk to you today about Wuthering Waves and... In particular, that's the name Alex Jordan. Chian was I've originally never seen a that name professional before. and was later motivated by the righteous cause to protect the people of Jinjo. Now, as the general of Jinjo Garrison, he fights with firm convictions and a strong sense of faith. I've seen all the anticipation that Wuthering Waves is receiving online. People seem to really love its unique design and thrilling combat gameplay. And I hope even more people will get to experience the world of Wuthering Waves on its official release. Gian of the Midnight Rangers. You know, this guy... Protecting our lands and people is my solemn duty. Should you encounter oh, any difficulties here, I will do my utmost to help. I like his voice, actually. Like, I think it fits for Jin Yan. Jin, no, Jin Jin. Welcome back. Jin Jin Yan? No, Jin Yan. wants to get yeah. to know Wuthering Waves a little bit better, so let's explore that Jin a little bit more, shall we? With a fantastic oh, minigame that we have planned for everyone here. He's part of the garrison, so yeah. Minigame speed Q&A. We're going to test your knowledge of Wuthering Waves through some rapid-fire question rounds. Now, while we were listening to the messages from all the voice actors and actresses from the, sh from the game, We've been given each a buzzer. What we're going to do next is play a game. And the way that this works is that we'll have three mini games today. This is the first of which. Each player will participate in all of these mini games. I'm sorry, there's no way for you to get out of it. You know, you can't disappear. You're stuck okay. here with me until we finish every single here. one of them. Um, oh. But in each mini game, we're going to award stickers to the winner of each segment as well as each question that we ask during those mini games. So this is what you have for prizes up for grabs at the moment. Nice. Now, let's go on to the very first game that we're going to be playing, which involves all of these buzzers, the trivia time. It's going to be rapid fire question rounds. I'm going to count down from three to one. And on one, you can hit the buzzer. Now, this is going to be like interesting buzzer, questions or like the question, and if spoiling you right, you win a story type questions. Sound good, everyone? Mm -hmm. Sounds okay. good. But are there any other rewards? What, what about the figurine over there? No, you just get stickers. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's sure. if you get it right. Worth a <laughs> shot. Okay. Worth a shot. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about other rewards a little bit later on, maybe. But, you know, just, just stickers for now. Let's focus on the stickers. You know, they're great. So, everyone good? No yep. more questions? Yep. Sure. We're good to go? All right, let's begin. Question number one. Who is the first person Rover wakes up and sees in three? three. Okay, I'm well, just... <laughs> All right, we it's like spoiling right. story in questions. Three, I don't care. Two, one. Okay, that's all time to break the... Oh, so I'll give you time... I'm just gonna skip. Hey, really? Uh, oh and now my I god, I'm dying. Break. Can we... Seconds. Like, okay, I get it. Like, it's not... Well, in my opinion, it's not like what do you call it? Like um, that was way like relevant or like um. No, bro, I'm trying to see something else. Like um, like engaging. Like these type of questions, I don't care because it's not like I'm taking part, right? So like it's not like I have any say in whatever's going on. Okay, so they got some stickers. video. For version 1.0 of Wuthering Waste. Let's take a look. Finally. Content. Let's take a look. Like, I mean, I get it how it's funny, but like, why prolong the live stream if you don't have anything to say, really? <laughs> uh, like, I mean, it may be engaging for some people, but the things you need to have either played CBT or watched it. It brings me great Which, I mean, to see you over. If you didn't have access to it, then why did you watch it? Why would you spoil the story? It's kind of cringe. 
Voy a... Rough female rover, man. It's gonna make me act up for real. God. To be honest, like all of the women are like really good. Even like the like more boring one, I suppose like San Juan. She's still good. Holy monkey. Wow. Little monkey. Guess we're gonna have the echo transforming into it, yeah. The Fraxidus plans to advance another lament and cause disasters worldwide. Lament. Offer yourself up to be my prey? <laughs> Holy heavenly principles. No one knows you were a patroller. You can't prove it to anyone now. The secrets I hold might be bigger than you imagine. If you really oh, want to know, you need to survive this first. Now you'll behave. Gosh, you're so bad. It's our curtain. This rain, it's finally happening. Over Thrax, the Thranodian of war would be reawakening soon. Ooh. Bearing the significance of growing chaos, warding off external threats. Attention, all troops! Take position and get ready to. Oh, he is our general. That's crazy. This will be our final battle. Oh, you're not even named in Jin Yan, just so you can replace Jin Yan as the general of Gacha games. <laughs> No, when people are gonna say our general, they're gonna say they're gonna mean Jin Yan, not Jin Yan. It's crazy. The fight head is big with that one. I will pray for your safe return. Wuthering waves. Coming to you soon. In 21 hours. No. Two days. Well free kind. Of, for me. Wuthering waves. Okay, I just noticed something interesting at the end there. It seems like the new story is gonna center around a showdown with a crownless. Yeah, but if you saw the end, it looks like an, a newer crownless. Like the figure is like more of a woman's figure crownless. Yeah. So it might be a new boss. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a new boss. It, it showed Rover fighting it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super excited to see all the newly added stories in version 1.0. Well, let me explain the official content in version 1.0 in detail for you guys. Oh, live stream content. So, Let's go. Rover awakes at the pivotal moment of human civilization after a devastating disaster. Mm -hmm. While many who participated in CBT2 will find Why is blood spoiling this blood story? As the opening scenes revolve around Jinjo. While okay. Jinjo seems blooming with prosperity, perils lurk in every corner. Mm. Threats of tacit discords, unpredictable anomalies of the etheric sea, and encroaching mysterious Fraxidus. Apart from the original four acts released during CBT2, this version will also introduce two new acts. Act 5, Rewinding Raindrops, and Act 6, Grand Warstorm. Rover will Holy characters. reclaim some lost memories. Yeah, they're like going down the path of like the only women, Sir like Azu Because like it's only four star men and Jin Yan. Well, meanwhile, in version 1.0, companions and the characters and the lion kid. I don't remember his name. Jian, Ling Yang? Ying Lin, and Ling Yang. Yeah. Stories about the resonators. Oh my god, the Ying Ling story quest. I can't wait. Events brought by the retro yeah. rain and unexpected. I don't know if be like a date, maybe something interesting. I wonder if they're gonna experience. add something like that. So that means the new content means that we're gonna have new maps, right? And become yeah. intimate with so the characters. As the, develop, the players will unlock different regions within the Jinzo territory. These include the Jinzo City, the Central Plains, Wuming Bay, the port city of Guizhou, Tiger's Maw, Dim Forest. Um, Winding Axe's Mire, Desert Rock Highland, and a lot more. 
As for the new maps, we have the Norfolk Barrens as a location of lore significance in the open beta. It lies adjacent to the Desert Rock Highland, north of Jinzo. This open ancient beta? battlefield serves as the front line against TD outbreaks. Uh, players who venture there must ex exercise extreme caution. I believe Norfolk Barrens is the one just reading? in That's fine. I actually think they're best. I don't. I don't care. Because like they're not like really professional like, content creators, right? Okay, Which so I mean, I appreciate. But I would also appreciate like a professional. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Before, before we start introducing the monsters, why, why don't we go back Kinda. and watch another short video oh. first? Shall we? Let's I do appreciate that okay. instead of doing like the Honkasara where they like, like the big dev live streams are like the people from China like doing it. So they like made it English as well, but like. Holy monkey. And it's gonna be like the hologram bosses. Or are they like all elite echoes? Yeah, they're, they're elite echoes, yeah. Some of them. I recognize. Who's that? Oh. Big boss. Big boss woman. Oh, she died. Welcome back. So the bosses wow. that you can expect, you know, they appeared in the video that we just. <laughs> Bro, no, no shade, but like it's funny. It's kind of like. Tell me, what are your initial thoughts? Again, content creators, right? They're not like official that, like, people. So. Have challenging bosses, and they're adding more. I'm looking forward to fighting them. Yeah, after what I saw, I'm looking forward to fighting that one as well. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, especially <laughs> the last boss that appeared. It seems like a monster that didn't appear in the previous betas. Mm. Well, it's great that you mentioned that because the dev team has actually provided us with some information about it. So I can oh. give everyone a quick sneak peek. Yes, so it's called the Dreamless. It's a mysterious residual entity that descends over Norfolk Barrens, and it's one of the anomalies of the dual moons. So it takes the form of a sphere and mm -hmm. is identified as a Thranodian during its dormant stage. Now, due to its continuously escalating internal energy surges, the possible de detection methods against it have failed, so its threat level is, you know, can't, can't really tell what that Sounds looks like. Sounds very powerful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I believe that comedy against the strong enemy will definitely give everyone a really thrilling and rewarding experience, especially for the players. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so quite a few cool things being added into V1.0. We've covered the monsters and a few sneak peeks here and there. Before we move on to the next portion of the broadcast, let's check in with the voice actors and actresses again. Hi, I'm Rebecca Yeo. I'm Yang Yang's voice actor. Spoiler alert! Yang Yang is the first character you will meet in Wuthering Waves. Her gentle demeanor and if quiet you spoiler, strength and then why companionship say it? will be your guide as you journey through the game. Why do I need to know However, that? However, as the story develops and as Yang Yang grows in skill and confidence, you will discover that there is more to her than meets the eye. Wuthering Waves is a sprawling story hey, is Yang Yang like the world game that introduces mascot, to I guess, of the game. Gorgeous graphics like she's gonna be the goofy ah, equally girl. Score. Kuro Games has created a dynamic world that evolves based on the player's choices, and I really hope that the Wuthering Waves community falls in love with it as much as I have. I hope I can be the one to embrace all that you are, and share with you all that you carry. Reckon it's just like that breathy, like woman voice. I, I'm not really, uh, Rebecca, I don't fuck with that too much. I'm gonna cap. We get to see more of their greeting for them, like life opening life. their mouth, yeah, sure. mouth foodie, I mean, you know, not talking. Don't go away, everybody. Right. Yeah, I've always really admired voice actors. You guys bring the characters to life. Mm, yeah. No, but thank you so much, and thank you to all of the voice actors and actresses. But again, that's like really common, and game, some women are really hot when they talk like that. But we really appreciate it. Not I'm everyone. Excited to go and see more for coming up later on during the broadcast. But since you mentioned that today, we have the perfect experience for everyone here to experience what it's like to be a voice actor. Oh. So let's go on to our second mini game of the day. Dubbing in. They're going to be dubbing some lines from characters in the game. So okay. now, let me explain how this is going to work. Right, in order for us to start this. You know, don't explain to me. I'm good. Yeah.
Okay, so I can see why the live stream is one and a half hours long. God dang. I do have some really exciting news that I want to announce. Not only you don't say. Here, but everyone back at home as well. I'm so happy to share that all of the milestones for the pre-release of Wuthering Rays have been reached. Oh, so we have nice. surpassed 30 million oh. pre-registrations oh worldwide, nice. as well as over 5 million followers across social media globally. So thank you so wow. much, especially everyone back at home. Wuthering that's Waves. Not just for supporting the moon. broadcast, but also for supporting Wuthering Waves in general. We really appreciate all of your support. And because of that, the development team is going to be releasing rewards to everyone globally as well. And I have them right here. So for reaching all of the milestones, all players across the world will be able to receive 20 Lustrous Tides, 20 rolls. 200 Asteroids, a Sigil of Enrote, as well as 80,000 Shell Credits, an Advanced Resonance Potion, you get 10 of them as well, and a Ranger's Weapon Supply Chest of choice through the in-game mail. So remember, after the open beta begins, download the game, open up your mailbox and receive all the rewards we can't thank you enough for all of your support thank you we really appreciate it and again thank you so much for watching today's broadcast as well but next up we'll be covering highlighted events that are featured in version 1.0 so now Havian, could you share a little bit more about the convene event with us yeah Starting from the opening on May 22nd PT, players can use Radiant Tide to participate in the character convene event, Prevail the Lasting Night. Oh, convene is a uh, gotcha, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jian. At the same time, they can use Fortune Tide the weapon convene oh, event to obtain the five weapon, Verdant Summit. Then starting from June 12th PT, players can participate I mean, to do a couple pulls on the banner. event when Thunder pours to obtain the featured five star resonator. Oh my god. Why is she just looking event, like that, man? The featured five star weapon, String Master. In both Ooh. character convene events, players are guaranteed cool. a five star resonator after up to 80 convenes, with a 50% chance to get the featured resonator. If the resonator is not the featured resonator, the next five star resonator is guaranteed to be the featured resonator. In the weapon convene event, after up to 80 convenes, I don't know why he said made sense, but he said resonator a lot of times. <laughs> and the obtained five star weapon is and he was kind of distracting. to be the featured weapon. Also, there will be featured five star resonator trials during the character convene event. Players can try out Jian and Yinlin to master their skills ahead of time. Players can also use Lustrous Tide in the Standard Convene to obtain resonators and weapons to boost the strengths for battle. In Standard Weapon Convene, players can select a 5-star weapon for targeted Convene. The selected 5-star weapon can be switched at any time during Convene, and when obtaining a 5-star weapon, it's guaranteed to be the selected 5-star weapon. After obtaining the selected weapon, players can continue to switch targets for targeted Convenes. What is just yapping? Yep. Well done. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Well, let me add more details here. To make it easier for players to obtain resonators, we will introduce a beginner convene event. Players can use Lustrous Tide to participate in Utterance of Marvels, the beginner convene event. In this event, every 50 summons guarantee a 5-star resonator. The convenes cost 2 attempts less if you attempt 10 convenes at once. In other words, players will only need to spend a maximum of Lustrous Tide times 40 to obtain a 5-star resonator. Mm, that sounds good, but these are all just regular content, isn't it? That's true. Yeah, I feel like many players might not be satisfied. Is there any kind of like immediate bonuses they can get? Well, I'll introduce the bonuses. Oh? While we're kicking off both the character convene event and the beginner convene at the same time, mm -hmm. it'd be a bummer if we couldn't get the resonators we want. But here is the solution. Oh. After obtaining a 5-star resonator from the beginner convene, the beginner 5-star resonator convene of choice will follow. Oh. Here, players can pick their favorite standard 5-star resonator for So this is after the 50 convene. random one. Yep. Oh. With up to 80 convenes, they're guaranteed to get a desired resonator. That means oh. everyone can get yes, 5-star resonators from works. these events. That oh, is good so news. great. Wow. Guess that we is don't have to news. worry about missing out. So is it just whenever stars. you reach 80, yeah. you just I mean, get the selector. And there like is, you don't have to additionally, get the 5 star. Coral or oscillated coral but this is their wild for this, by the way. This is crazy. Convene. Afterglow coral can be exchanged for resonator wave bands of standard or featured resonators, convene tokens, and other valuable items. 
Oscillated coral can be exchanged for convene tokens and development materials during each event. Wow. That, that means you can accumulate coral to you know, upgrade the resonance change and it, it won't expire. Yep. That's pretty wow. cool. This, this, is, this is great. Is there anything else? Well, what do you think? Is there more? Yeah, for sure. Oh. oh. <laughs> Version 1.0 will Crazy. also include many simple and easy events. Players can receive lustrous tide and radiant tide oh, by logging into the game like daily, that. while day five login grants an instant reward. Four star resonator, Sanhua. Oh, wait, Sanhua? Yeah, yes. yeah, Sanhua. yeah Sanhua. Yes. <laughs> yes, Sanhua. <laughs> now you can realize your dream. Yeah, I can continue my dream. <laughs> yeah. I've got a question though. Can yeah. we get Yang Yang? Yes, nice. <laughs> Yang Yang will join everyone's team in the prelude. Everyone? So, yeah. Oh, fantastic. But is it, is it Yang Yang or is it Rex Yang Yang? Oh. I don't know. I might Aren't break they the one game. and the same? Oh. <laughs> I mean, depends. I want Rex Yang Yang. Depends on Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I would too. I rather like the, the <laughs> like subtitles. Journey event, players can There's something else as well. To get lustrous tide times 40, <laughs> this is crazy. Times 1, and a standard five star weapon, weapon of, of choice. Reward. Like, yeah, holy... So just by leveling up, we get to choose a five-star weapon. Right. That's amazing. Because, like... Absolutely. So many rules. I was thinking, like, instead of pulling for Jin Yan, I'm just gonna pull for the five-star sword. Just so my dungeon can go crazy. But, like, you don't need to. We just get it. Like... Oh, my... Um, it could probably take a while to reach level 45, I think, but... Also, for Depths of Elizabeth Realm, the roguelike gameplay will be available to challenge in version 1.0. Same in a But this is gonna be fun as fuck. I can't wait. Because I remember, like, um... Each time they enter the thingy. If a gazer had... In the roguelike game mode. And that was fun as fuck. I remember with Aether Gazer, it's just... It's phone, man. I don't care. And it's, like, using some shitty emulator on PC. So that's why I kind of like, I, I basically battles, stopped playing. The time limited battle event Alloy Smelt will also be open. But still a good game, check it out if you're playing on PC, on a mobile. The resonators rapidly advancing abilities and obtain asteroid development materials and other rewards. Even more yeah. So, lots of rewards, I've already lost count myself. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from battles and echoes, there's more. Mm. The high speed, free and mobile essence is a major highlight. To ensure everyone can fully enjoy this lightning fast experience, we're introducing the Overdash Club. Oh. This event involves players to conquer parkour challenges across oh, Jinjo man. to earn Asteroid. So you'll be using the grappling wow. hook a, a lot yeah. to be like soaring around places. But I thought I thought we were gonna see parkour coming over here when Sanhua was announced. So now we'll have to see some <laughs> in the game yeah. as well. Jumping over all our yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for that detailed introduction. There was a lot to cover there. I hope that you are all excited for not only the gifts that you're going to get, but all the bonuses that are available in the game when 1.0 drops. But before we go into those games, let's hear from our voice actors and actresses again. Again? Hello, I'm Samantha Dakin, and I'm the voice actress of Baiju. Hopefully, you'll get to know Baiju a little bit more through this introduction. Baisha is a dedicated researcher, and although she often talks with coldness and distance, she's quite approachable. I can't wait she for water and waves, man. She possesses an mind and a great passion oh, for knowledge, so sick. which has been proven through her tireless efforts in the study of remnant energy. Weathering Waves is already a fantastic game. I can see the efforts made by the team to create brilliant characters, unique storylines, and thrilling combat. I'm excited for you to dive in. I am Baisha, a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Hello, this is Harriet Carmichael and the voice of Chisha in Weathering Waves. British. I can't wait to tell you a little more about Harriet the hero Chicho, Chisha. So to me, Chisha, uh, Chisha is encouraging, Chisha. she's always energetic and straightforward. She's able to utter her thoughts without hurting anyone's feelings. I think she's the kind of hero you'd love to have by your side. Weathering Waves is already receiving high praise for its unique designs and thrilling combat. And I know the game will appeal to a wider audience once people get to experience its gorgeous, enchanting worlds on its official release. Jinjo Patroller Chisha! You can always call on me if you ever find yourself in a pickle. Hi there, I'm Claire Louise Connolly and I'm the dead. voice of Tao Chi. 
Tao Chi works for the Ministry of Development in Jinzhou. Though she seems laid back, Tao Chi is in fact a strong and reliable Tao presence Qi. in Jinzhou and a constant support to the city's defense. But perhaps more importantly, she is a good listener and is always willing to help people in trouble. I One love anime games, man. A fantastic game. Like this is so good. The efforts made by the team to create I find someone that characters, it's not all your works. graphics, storylines, sound design, like and combat mechanics. I'm excited for company. you, the player, sure. to delve into the world. Time to work? <laughs> oh, no more lazing around then. Alrighty, just as I mentioned before that video, it is time for yet another mini game. More chances to win stickers this time round. So, if you want to immerse yourself into the world of Wuthering Waves, you have to immerse yourself into its delicacies and cuisine Ooh. as well. So, oh, I great. have some of the food items from the game. I'm about to bring that over for everyone. Goodness. You know, so good for them. Just I don't care. 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 But like, <laughs> I shouldn't say I don't care. I do. I just. No, I don't care. Like it's fine. What are all good? Right, that's the end of. I mean, single game we have, but we still. Ah, okay. So. You look like so we could. You think it's Rebecca? Correct. Look. Was raised. I told you. Yeah. Look. I don't know how to say it completely. It's a. Okay. You keep your steam. Right? Yeah, that's... And what about you? Oh, a restaurant for Wuthering Ways is, you know, not one. Not just during the broadcast, but also right after this. They're really yapping for real, though. God. Oh, it's about the, like, cosplays in America. That... <laughs> Wait, 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 Bruh, like, they're just, like, out there, you know, like, God. That cosplay is crazy. <laughs> Official cosplay, by the way. Wow. Bro, like... Oof, god dang. Good job. And this is why everyone is playing female rover. <laughs> Literally. But that cosplay is actually crazy. Oh. Yeah. I'm I'm just distracted as fuck. I can't like you know like what can I say? It is what it is, you know. What about the EU representation, man? Like, I know EU is the least spending region, so like, okay, I guess it makes sense that you don't care about them that much, but like, you know, I exist. I may spend money on this game. Well, to be honest, how is it looking right now? I'm probably not. Because <laughs> uh, I don't really care about weapons. I, was, I think that's the only reason why I would spend money on this game. I want to buy a weapon, but. Otherwise, nope. We're in New York.
game, you know? Wow, that is so cool. I want to go and check it out myself. Yeah, it's amazing. So if there's billboards and ads, does that mean we should expect some new merch? Also, I think the Times Square that was amazing. Merch. That was sick. Yeah, merch. There's merch. Oh, good news, of course, because Wither Ways is about to launch a brand new merch project. In oh, fact, good. there's been one sitting here the entire time. Oh. Look at our big brother over here, the crownless figurine. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I mean, it's been here the whole time and it's part of the new merch project that's going to launch. Whoa. It's amazing. Wow. He looks really imposing. Definitely a worthy opponent. Yeah, and you know, if you have it at home, it would always remind you... You know, that cosplay reminds me of, like, like Emiru. I don't know. She kind of feels like she's as awkward as Emiru, which wow. is kind of funny. This is... Wait, I guess cosplay Yeah. This figurine uh, captures Young Young's battle posture in great that's detail. Funny. This is a chibi figurine of GN. Is GN using a gourd to absorb the gold puff? That's so cute. Yeah. I'd want to get this one. Yeah, I never thought General GN, who is usually solemn, would have some <laughs> cute and relaxed moments. Well, in addition, an ecological exploration supply box is under development at the moment to oh. celebrate the official release of Withering Waves. The box contains... Okay, everything is work in progress. We get it. Um, and it showcases the ecological setting within the game. Besides that, there's a lot more Wuthering Waves merch in the works. So for more information on related pre-sales and sales, just follow the Wuthering Waves social media account. We'll release the purchase info as soon as possible, so stay tuned. Well, that all sounds fantastic, and I, I can't wait to start playing for myself. Absolutely. Any chance that we can already pre-download the game? Absolutely, and I have that information right here. So, pre-downloading of Full Wuthering Waves starts at this time. So players can head on over to the Epic Game Store. They can head it's on like over 18 to hours from now website, or something. App Store, or so the get ready. Play Store to get the game. You just go on, the, on their cool. website. Just like the type on Google, Wuthering Ways pre-download. And you'll see this, basically. Nice. Right, so here's some more exciting news. Is that Wuthering Ways will be available on the Mac platform as well. So keep an eye this out. This is wild, by the way. I've seen this as well. Updates and for the what? pre-order for Mac users. For Mac? Mac There's like two people that play that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to set my alarm right after this live stream ends. <laughs> Good call. Yeah. Nice. Well, after talking about all of that and all the release details, make sure you set your alarms to, to pre-download the game for the open and beta. But it's finally time for the playable demo of Wuthering Way. So let's go ahead and take a look at the video from our voice actors and voice actresses again before our next segment. Yay. Hi, I'm Chase Brown, the voice actor of Male Rover. I'm glad that Princess Hanon's gonna, gonna hear this guy's voice. In <laughs> Wuthering Waves. In That's story, crazy. Rover is brought to this world without past memories. Entangled by obstacles. Oh, I was tempted. I was thinking like. To remain unshaken and true to himself. Uh, you know, because I choose male in every gacha game. Because I don't know. Sounds, stories, um, because there hasn't been like any like. Fragmented memories. Wow, like female, you know, male character. Hi, I'm Jane Jackson, the voice of female Rover. I'm really excited to talk to you about Rover but, today. I really look forward to the experience that players will have exploring the world as Rover. You see what I mean? She is look surrounded at, by so look. many intriguing mysteries Over there. that begin to unravel as the storyline They're progresses. not spilling out as much as they were that the close play. God, that was Weathering crazy. Waves is a hotly anticipated um, game. But yeah, I chose female this time just because it's creators. actually like I'm excited something I'm kind of attracted to, so why not? World to fall in love with Wuthering Waves. Let me be there for everyone as we head toward our shared yeah. future. Leaving the past behind. Hello, everyone. This is Naomi McDonald, and I'm the voice actor for Yin Lin. British. Yin Lin is a Once wielder again. of electric power. She gives off an impression of ambiguity whilst achieving. Right, I'm gonna like one for them weeks is like However, British mommy voices, bro. Oh my always god. Does what's right. I don't I'm excited from for players to what I've seen. I don't think she speaks like a British accent in game. So. Meet Yin Lin. I will make good use of this power and fight by your side. Nah. Front evil, wherever it lies. Nah, right. you can't hear the British in that man. Unlucky. Missed opportunity. That we have because that was the, the, we don't have any more mini games. We're going on to the final game that we like, have. Like um, from Reverse 1999. Oh. Like the bad woman's so, name. Now that they've all concluded, whatever it was. Like her voice. That went crazy. You're all gonna take part in a Bro, what's the name? Fight where the you know what I'm talking about though. I don't care. I don't wanna see gameplay, man. Like in-depth gameplay. No stop. 
I don't want to uh, see. Stop. 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 Man, look at those like OPS team comps. Like you seem some boring ass characters. Oh, yep. I don't care. Oh, Rex won. That's crazy. That guy's like a million hours in punching Grey Raven. All right, but thank you so much for being a part of this boss challenge. You can join us at the back sure. now. And we want to thank everyone back at home as well for watching today's broadcast. Before we wrap up, we have one last surprise for all of you. So stick around. And we hope that you all enjoy Wuthering Rays when it goes live. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Woo. Woo. Thank you, everyone. Woo. Woo. One of surprise. Hi everyone, 我是Solan 终于又再次和大家见面了我真的非常非常的开心经历了三年多的爆肝开发我们最新的作品开放世界动作游戏明朝马上就要在五月二十三日正式公测了真的非常感谢这一千多个日夜里各位漂泊者们的支持和陪